Born in 1918, Feynman's brilliance became evident early on. He was a true iconoclast, a rule breaker who possessed an uncanny ability to explain complex scientific concepts in a clear and engaging way. The Feynman method of thought was developed by the man who refused conventional wisdom at all times and who sought to build his mental computer from the ground up, starting with an understanding of mathematics at a very young age. Feynman's early notebooks are records of him deriving algebra, calculus, trigonometry, and various higher mathematics all on his own, with original results and notations. This was how Feynman approached all knowledge. What can I know for sure, and how can I come to know it? It resulted in his famous quote, You must not fool yourself, and you are the easiest person to fool. Feynman believed it and practiced it in all of his intellectual work. Feynman's contributions to physics are monumental. He played a key role in the Manhattan Project, though he later questioned the use of atomic weapons. His most celebrated work, however, revolves around QED or also known as quantum electrodynamics. This theory describes how light interacts with matter and how charged particles behave. For his revolutionary work in QED or quantum electrodynamics, Feynman shared the Nobel Prize in Physics in the year 1965. He was co-awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1965 for this work, which tied together an experimentally perfect package all the varied phenomena at work in light, radio, electricity, and magnetism. The other co-winners of the Nobel Prize were Julian S. Schwinger of the United States and Tomo Nagashimichiro of Japan. They had independently created equivalent theories of their own, but it was Feynman's that proved the most original and far-reaching. Feynman wasn't just a theorist. He was also a gifted problem solver. His unconventional approach, which often involved tinkering and a healthy dose of curiosity, had led him to solve problems that had baffled other scientists. For example, he cracked the problem of superfluid helium, a state of matter that exhibits zero viscosity, and his work on the Feynman diagrams, which depict the interactions between particles, became a cornerstone of particle physics. Imagine tiny squiggles representing particles and their interactions. That's the basic idea. These diagrams revolutionized how physicists understand subatomic processes. During World War II, he helped develop safer ways to store nuclear waste, a crucial invention for protecting people working with radioactive materials. Feynman's influence wasn't limited to academia. In the 1980s, he served on the Rogers Commissions, the group that investigated the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. His down-to-earth approach exposed a critical design flaw that had contributed to the tragedy. Beyond his scientific achievements, Feynman was also a captivating communicator. His lectures at Caltech were legendary, renowned for their clarity and wit. He published several books including Surely You're Joking Mr. Feynman, a collection of anecdotes that showcase his playful personality and unique perspective on science and life. Five particular achievements of Feynman stand out as crucial to the development of modern physics. First and most important is his work in correcting the inaccuracies of earlier formulations of quantum electrodynamics, the theory that explains the interactions between electromagnetic radiation, or your photons, and charged subatomic particles such as your electrons and positrons, which are anti-electrons. By 1948, Feynman completed this reconstruction of a large part of quantum mechanics and electrodynamics and resolved the meaningless results that the old quantum electrodynamic theory sometimes produced. Second, he introduced simple diagrams, also known as the Feynman diagrams, that are easily visualized graphic analogs of the complicated mathematical expressions needed to describe the behavior of systems of the interacting particles. This work greatly simplified some of the calculations used to observe and predict such interactions of molecules. Feynman was never one to settle for knowing the description of things or the accepted truths of things. Instead, he really wanted to know, and it was that burning curiosity that led him to his greatest work. 
Feynman was human, at times all too human, but his mind was devoted to figuring out what the reality was. He passed away in 1988, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire physicists and non-scientists alike. He was a man who dared to question, to explore the unfamiliar, and to explain the complex in a way that everyone could understand. He showed us that scientific genius can coexist with curiosity, humor, and a touch of wonder.